Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, today we will take a look finally on the euro currency. Since market has started a retracement that we have anticipated and expected to get, would like to get better to say, uh, in our weekly research. Uh, on the Canadian dollar that we have talked about uh, yesterday, so we uh, haven't got the double repo failure on the crude oil. So market has turned down a bit, but double repo on the daily uh, crude oil chart hasn't reached the target yet. So. Uh, currently, market stands in some kind of the indecision, so that it could be downward continuation with the direct double repo passion right to the 50 uh, bucks uh, per contract area of the crude oil. But uh, since this downward action right now is very unstable, it's still possible that uh, upward reversal will happen prior the market will hit the double repo, and we still could get the double repo failure. Uh, another reason why double repo failure on the crude oil is still possible because if you will take a look at the reaction on the, on the Canadian dollar itself, so you can see that on the recent drop the reaction was was really weak, and market uh, hasn't created the new top. I mean the Canadian dollar. That's why if you have some hesitation with this current trade, if you have taken short yesterday, you could try to um, to close the position on the break even. Uh, but the validation point on the Canadian dollar is still the same, so market should not take out the recent top that has been achieved uh, when the market has reached the daily you know, patterns that we have talked about yesterday. So, uh, so current the situation still uh, was not de determined by the price action yet. So any scenario is still possible. Uh, while market uh, shows some retracement across the board, so on the forex markets, on uh, gold market as well, here is no, not, not an exception. Uh, and uh, for us, this is a really uh, important moment, since this our tactical uh, was the tactical setup, uh, since we have come to agreement that we will uh, monitor mostly the upward retracement on the current week, because it could provide us very good opportunity for taking the short position. Uh, mostly we think about the taking the short on the euro counts by fundamental sentimental analysis, and also from a technical point of view, because market actually has no supports below the market till the one or five area there's no real significant supports since market already so market has broken all the supports that stand below 110 area until the one or five the major 618 support also has been broken I mean a weekly chart on a weekly fib level also monthly pivots also have been passed through so uh, actually it's no real support below 1 or 8 area. That's why, uh, since market also is not at oversold on any time frame, that's why we do not expect any significant retracements. Only if some, something really new will happen on the, on the fundamental picture, or some equilibrium will change, or something of that sort. Uh, but currently, it seems that market probably will show some moderate uh, retracement up, we think that uh, we should watch for two levels. First one already has been tested. You can see weekly pivot point. And next one will be this area. So uh, based on the pivot framework, as you know, the weekly pivot resistance one usually should hold any upward retracement within the bear trend. That's why two levels to watch for weekly pivot point. Market could test it. And next will be this weekly pivot resistance one. It's 110 area approximately. Uh, as we said in the vehicle research, these two levels could be retested, this range, this bottom of the Brexit candle and this important low also stands in the same area, this natural support resistance also, you could see how market behaves in this area. So it has dropped that down, shows some support here on these lows, and then it's broken it down, now trying to retest them. So this is currently tactical idea on the euro currency. On the intraday charts, guys, on the 4-hour time frame chart, uh, we see some details. Here stands first FIB level 109.22, very close to the 
uh, weekly pivot point. Next one will be the confluence resistance on the five, uh, 4 hour time frame chart 109.65, 109.85 area. So be confluence and weekly pivot uh, resistance one. If you remember in, in the weekly research, we mostly pointed on this level, so market could retest it. Uh, also interesting, this behavior, take a look, this was some kind of the Russian rinse of these lows, so drop and fast return back. So it's just some stops probably have been grabbed here, and uh, some kind of the Russian rinse has happened. This is bullish signs, market starting to move up. On the hourly chart, we see this was the butterfly, um, and very good thrusting action to the upside. That's why we think that uh, market really could reach this 109.65 area. So this will be first target is 109.28. 100% extension of this A, B, C bottom D pattern stands when is with uh, stands in agreement with this level. First A B C D 1618 target stands in agreement with the confidence. So you can see 1618 that's approximately 109.63. It's very go very close to this area. That's why we're mostly watch for that level and taking in consideration that upward action is really fast, so maybe market indeed will reach it. Also, guys, you could recognize here probably some kind of the hand shoulders pattern, something of that sort. As you can see, so reversal has started with this nicely looking pattern to the upside. So, uh, how to use this upward action? Um, usually, when you plan to take the short position, you could act differently. Most simple is trying to take position in one level and, and place the stop behind the other. So, um, there's three major approaches how you could do this. Uh, gradual approaches, you could take, for example, minor position here, some 20% this level, wait for the next level, take the take the rest of this uh, area and place the stop slightly above this confidence and weekly pivot or behind this level. This will be first opportunity to trade. Um, it's one way how you could uh, take the position. This approach calls as the bushes by the Jed Napoli uh, framework. Or you could wait for example totally to this level and place position here I, and take position here and place it up above this area. Um, another approach is the minesweeper tactic. Uh, this is a bit more sophisticated, but it suggests taking position al already after the bounce down will start. So usual approach is the wait major level and market starts move down, take the position from that new swing down, continuation to the downside on the, some minor retracement. In this case, you will not need to to uh, take the risk of whether the market will bounce down from the level or not, because you are taking position already when this bouncing down has started. Uh, but it demands some skills because you will uh, uh, you will have to uh, trade on the lower time frames, and will be much much faster. So we will have to make the decision faster, uh, taking on the position. That's why you you could use what you like more. The one thing that I would like to uh, talk about here is about this confidence. So when you're dealing with the confidences, it's better to place stops not below the next level, but slightly behind the confidence. Why? Because confidence level is the stronger than just a single fib level. And for example, if you have taken position here, initial stop, uh, sorry, initial stop, yes, should be placed here. But later, when the market stands bounce here, you should move stop slightly below the confidence. Why? Because uh, usually confidence level is, is stronger and if market already has started to move down and it returned at big up, if it will break it up, it definitely will break the next level. That's why you do not need more risk to take. Uh, that's why it's better to place stop here, move, move stop here after the, uh, you are taking the position. That's uh, the major idea um, of the confidence, uh, how to use it. So, um, that being said, on the euro currency, we're continuing to watching for upward retracement, mostly two levels 109.22 and 109.70 are its confidence resistance, the major levels where market could reach and where we think that it should turn down again. Because there's a fundamental picture, sentimental analysis, 
mostly suggest that your reversion downward action probably will continue.